Okay, uh, let's look at the homework 13, problem number four, uh, example. All right, so this is a similar problem. All right, so we have a double integral we want to evaluate, and initially uh, we're going to do uh, uh, integral with respect to y first. But uh, finding the antiderivative of this function e to the negative y squared over 2 is uh, very difficult. So we want to switch the order of integration. So let's try to do it with respect to x first. All right? So in order to do that, we need to know the uh, region on the xy plane first. All right? So let's do that. So for a fixed x value, uh, y is going to go from x to 2. So let's sketch y equals x. So that's going to be just a straight line. So I'm going to just put a point of reference at the 2, 2, because it goes through uh, 2, comma 2. All right, so I'll do that. All right, so y equals x is just going to be a straight line. So I'm going to just go ahead and draw a straight line here. All right, so it looks kind of like that. All right, so this guy is um, a line y equals x, all right? Then this is going to go all the way up to 2. So this is y equals 2. So that's uh, fairly easy to draw, just, just the uh, horizontal line uh, at 2. So I would just draw a horizontal line there, all right? So this is um, y equals 2. All right, then x is going from 0 to 2. So from here to there, uh, 0 to 2, all the way to here. So you can see that the region we're looking at is going to be right here. All right, so this is the triangular region uh, we are integrating over. All right, so we're going to switch the order of integration. All right, so this is going to be equal to, right? So we have a in double integral. So integral sign here, integral sign there. Exactly the same integrand. So e to the negative y squared over 2, right? Instead, we're going to do a, a dx first with respect to x first, then do a dy, right? So we are fixing a uh, y value. So for a fixed y value, let's say right here, so here's a fixed y value. All right, x starts from uh, this point, which is actually just right on the y-axis, and all the way to this straight line right here. All right, so we can see that, uh, let's say, x is going to be equal to, all right, first, this is just the y equals 0, uh, x equals 0, sorry, so 0. And all the way to this straight line, which is x equals y. So this is x equals y. All right. Then, uh, in order to uh, swipe the whole uh, triangular region, uh, y is going to start from 0. Then uh, increase it all the way up to, so to cover the entire triangular region. So you can see that the y is going to go all the way up to 2. All right. So y is going to be equal to 0, 2, 2. All right. Then after that, we just need to uh, evaluate this. All right. So uh, you can see that uh, here, this has nothing to do with x. All right. So you can actually uh, move this guy outside the integral right here. You can put it right there. So let's do that. So this is going to be equal to uh, integral uh, y goes from 0 to 2, right? All right, this is just basically a constant because it, with respect to x, uh, so there's nothing to do with x. So we have a negative y squared over 2, right? Then you're basically integrating 1 from 0 to y, so x equals y, all right? So this is basically, you can put one if you want, uh, dx and dy, all right? And the antiderivative of one is uh, with respect to x would be x, so I'll leave the outside integral alone for now, all right? 
So this is going to be integral of 1. Oh, sorry, I forgot to write the e to the negative y squared over 2. All right. So uh, antiderivative of 1 is x. And x is going from 0 to y. Right? dx. Right? So this is going to be plugging y. So y minus 0, that's going to be y. So that you're going to get the single integral. Right? And, oh, sorry, this is y. Right? This is dy. Right? So you have a y goes from 0 to 2. Right? So it's going to be y times e to the negative y squared over 2 with respect to y. All right. So uh, we can probably use a substitution here to evaluate the integral. So substitution, I'm going to let uh, this guy right here to be u. All right. So I'm going to do it here. So let u be a negative y squared over 2. All right. So if you take the derivative of u with respect to y, you will get uh, negative, and 2 and 2 cancel out, so you're just going to get negative y. All right. Then uh, we can just uh, uh, take the reciprocal of both sides. So you have a dy over du is equal to uh, 1 over negative y, All right? Then I want to isolate y, so I'm going to multiply both sides by du, right? That way, dy can be written as uh, du over negative y, right? And another thing we need to do is uh, y is going from, so y is going from uh, 0 to 2, so I write it this way, 0 to 2, right? Now u value is going to be going from plugging 0 here, so that's going to be 0, and plugging 2 here, so 2 squared over 2 is 2, so it's negative 2, right? So if you rewrite this integral, you're going to get this. Uh, I'm going to go up here uh, for more room. Um, so this is going to be an integral, right? So I have to put a u value. So u value is going from 0 to negative 2. So here's negative 2, right? Integral is going to be, so y I'm going to leave it for now, right? So it's going to be e to the, right? We decided to call this guy u, right? And dy is same thing as du over negative y. All right, so what you can do is uh, we can cancel uh, y here and a y on the bottom, right? And also uh, you can incorporate the negative sign uh, to switch the um, you know lower limit and the upper limit. So this is going to look like this. So if you clean it up, so this is going to be an integral. So switch the lower limit and upper limit to incorporate this negative sign. So it's going to go from negative two to zero. Then you have a e to the u, du, right? Then antiderivative e to the u with respect to u would be simply e to the u. And you're going from negative 2 to 0. And this is going to be plugging e to the, uh, plugging 0. So it's going to be e to the 0 is 1 minus plugging uh, negative 2 for u. So it's going to be e to the negative 2, right? So this is the, um, the, the value of this uh, double integral right there. All right. So uh, initial uh, setup is hard to evaluate by switching the order of integration, and we can evaluate it uh, fairly easily. All right. That's it. I hope that uh, this was helpful.